So someone this week was asking me what tools would be really useful for making their vlogs. And I said to them, why don't you get a gimbal? They're relatively low priced and they work really well. And I'm using one here. I'm walking along and as you can see, it's kind of keeping the camera very stable. Now this is just on my iPhone and I've got this device. It's called a gimbal, but really what it is is a camera stabilizer. And the camera stabilizer is using a principle of gimbals, which is something that is allowed to rotate around an axis. So they're not exclusive to cameras, but this is what they're being called. And this stabilizer, well, as I move it, you can see is keeping my phone stable. So this particular gimbal is using my iPhone, but it can use other smartphones as well. And you can also have them with say things like GoPros and some have built in cameras as well. And they're great because they're very compact. Mine, I got this little extra bit here so I can actually rest this on something. So it's useful for that. I could actually also put it on a tripod, which could be very useful. I can also choose to shoot in portrait as well. I just double tap a button here and I can do that. So really simple to do that. I've got it in selfie mode. So it was filming me, but I can easily switch to filming somebody. And as I move, it keeps it nice and steady and you can see it does this. So it basically rotates around this axis here and it's got motors to do that to keep it nice and steady and it can pan around so you can get nice panning shots as well. And as you saw as well, it kind of keeps it nice and level by doing this as well. So very handy, but it's not just for video. I also use it for photography as it can just, as you can see, just keep it nice and steady and support the phone. But I can also do panoramas, which I'll show you in a moment. And also it can do other things as well, such as track people. Now I do, for my work, I've got my mirrorless camera. And for that, I've got this bigger gimbal here. Again, it's camera stable, it's made by the same company, but you can see I can move this around like this. And it has other features because it's got motors in it. I can do things on that, which allows me to program in shots so that I can tell it to like pan across over a certain amount of time, move to here and then on. And also it can track people as well, which is very handy. Now for the uh, video, is very handy to do that and a lot of people use it for that and as I said it folds up neatly and goes in a bag but for photos let's just let me choose the panorama mode so I've got it here and what I'm going to do is it's very nice around here so I'm just going to switch it onto my other camera so I've got my forward facing camera here and you'll see that if I press this button it's going to move it around it's going to take a few photos and you'll see it move. And what it's going to do is taking seven photos and it's automatically going to stitch it together. So there you have it. That's the stitched photo. You can actually see the camera that I'm recording with here as well. Really, really quite neat. Now there is another one as well that I think is a lot of fun, which is this. And that is I can tap here and you'll see it comes up with this one on the right here, which is clone me. Now what I can do here is I'm going to just pop this down over here. So I've got it set up here. Maybe it would have been better higher up or on a tripod. It's going to do three photos and stitch them together of me. And I'm going to be in each of the shots. I'm going to move from one to the other. And there's a little countdown from each one on the screen here, although I can't see that, but I can work it out from when the camera moves. So let's just start it and see what it does. So I'm going to press start here. It's going to move into the first position. I'm going to come here. That's the first photo done. Let's come back here to make sure I'm in it. And let's come over here as well and get a shot like that. Okay, let's have a look at how that's worked. So you can see that the camera moved and yes, it's stitched it together, although it would be better if I could see what I was doing because then I wouldn't have potentially just kind of chopped off the top of my head on the first one. But you can see the idea here. And as you can see, it would have been better if it was higher up. Let's go and have a look at the sign over there and how I can use the tracking on here. So as you can see the gimbal, I've got it on, it's recording and it's pointing at this sign. I don't need to press record first, 
but I want to move and make sure it keeps that kind of in the center of the frame. So what I can do is just draw a box around it. When I've finished, you might be able to see that in the corner there, it's got a little cross so I can just stop it. So basically I highlight it like that and it can be a person, it can be an object. And then as I move around, it's keeping that in the center of the shot. So I can move around and keep that nicely in the center there. And this works really well if you're using it on people as well. So there you have it, very handy little device this. If you have bigger cameras such as mirrorless or DSLR cameras, then you might wanna think about the other one that I showed you earlier that is actually really useful for that as well. And it does do really nice sort of tracking shots as well. So that's what a gimbal is. It's basically a camera stabilizer, but it's got some other tools in it, such as being able to use the panoramas for photos and things like that as well. So very handy. I hope you like this. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and come back for more because I'm going to create some more videos. I've already got lots and lots on there, but a bit more maybe on some photography and video skills as well. Thanks for watching. Take care.